In this video, we're going to be using HTML and CSS to create another simple web page, and this one is about fishing in Gundawindi. Uh, it's not much different from the previous tutorial, it's just that we had a little bit more writing to it, and we are just practicing our use of tables using HTML and then styling them up using CSS. This is how it's going to look once we are finished. Okay, so let's get started today by heading over to our accounts, and we need to make ourselves a new folder here called Fishing in Gundy. Inside of that folder, there's two things you need. You need this info document, okay, and that basically has all the information that you need to create this web page. It's got all the writing plus the table there. So you'll be able to copy and paste that information. And the other thing we're going to need in that folder is an images folder. And inside of the images folder, we've got three pictures of the three different fish that we talk about. Alrighty. So make sure you've got that all set up, fishing in Gundy folder, info document from curriculum drive, and then a few images copied over as well. Once you've got that all set up, you are ready to go in brackets. So open up brackets, make a new file, and before you start writing anything, just go to file and save as. Go back into your accounts and find that fishing in Gundy folder you just made, and you want to save this document, we'll just call it fishing.html. As always, put .html on the end of your file name so the computer knows you're working with a web page. Click Save. Alright, so now ready to start on your web page. As usual, the very first thing we're going to write in is the doc type tag. Okay, it just tells brackets that we are making ourselves a web page. Then we can start the HTML coding, so whack in your HTML um, tags to start with, and then we'll tab across and put in the head section. Inside the head section we're going to put a title and as you would have guessed it will be fishing in Gander Windy. Okay. We are going to link up a style sheet in this head section later on when we come to styling our page but we're not going to worry about that in this video. This video is just the HTML part. Okay, We'll come back and add that in in the second video. So that's our head section all done for the time being. Just put that title in Save it up by pressing Control S, and I want you to go and open that web page from your account so you can preview it. Okay, if I load it up now for a preview, this is how it's looking so far, and you can see our title sits at the top there. The name of the tab says Fishing in Gundawindi. So that's what we've just typed in. Moving on to the body section now, we can start to design the look of our web page. Alright, so let's put in our body tags. And we'll tab across, and the first thing we're going to put in we haven't used a header tag yet, but you can use header tags in HTML, and they're obviously used for big headers that go at the top of the page. So in this one, I'm just going to write fishing in Gundawindi. That's going to be my header. All right, save that up and have a look, and you'll get your header at the top that says fishing in Gundawindi. It's pretty small at the moment, doesn't look much like a header, but we will style it up using CSS a bit later on, so just leave it as is for now. Now coming down the next section, what we're going to do is we're going to use another tag we haven't seen before called an article tag. Okay, article tags are basically used for the main information in the body section. Okay, so in our article, we're going to put in all the information that we saw before, like we've got the table and we've got a little bit of information about Gundawindi itself and the fishing in town. Alright, so inside the article section, we're going to put in a paragraph to start with, and this is when you can go over to your document here. And you can copy the first paragraph simply by highlighting it, pressing Ctrl C, and then pressing Ctrl V in brackets to paste it in. Coming in below that, we're going to put a second paragraph, and we can copy this next bit in. So copy that, pressing Ctrl C, and then pressing Ctrl V to paste. All right. Coming in below that second paragraph, now we're going to create an unordered list. Now if you forget what unordered lists are, they are bullet points. Okay, it's a list of dot points. They're in no specific order, so that's why they are bullet points. So in our unordered list, we're going to put two list items. Remember, for a bullet point to actually appear on your page, you need to put these LI tags, which stand for list item. And we're going to have this right here. Okay, it's just a link to find out more about fishing in Queensland. You will have to delete that little bullet point that appears. Okay, and we will need to turn this into a hyperlink in just a moment. Okay, I'll just get that second list item put in, which is the New South Wales one. So copy that and I'll paste that in as well. 
There we go, so that looks pretty good. Next thing I'm going to do, before I get these hyperlinks going, I'm just going to get Queensland and New South Wales here in bold. And the way we do that is we use the strong tag. Okay, strong tags around the start and end of New South Wales and Queensland. There we go, like that. We'll make Queensland and New South Wales bold. If we just save it by pressing Control S and have a quick preview, this is how we're looking at the moment. We've got our header at the top, got our first paragraph here, second paragraph here, and this is our unordered list with two list items. Okay, you can see the text has gone bold for Queensland and New South Wales. Next thing we're going to do is just link up these hyperlinks here. All right, so back in brackets, just find this hyperlink here next to Queensland. Just before the DAF section, we'll just write A, href equals, and I just want you to put quotation marks around that hyperlink. Okay, close off the pointy brackets, and what I need you to do now is just copy that hyperlink again. So highlight it and press Control C, and then just in between those two pointy brackets there, Control V to paste it. Now for this hyperlink to work properly, there's just one more thing we need to add in to the link itself over here. Just before the letters DAF, you need to write in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. Okay, without that little section there, it won't open the link properly. All right, there's one other thing I also want to do in this AHREF section. Just after the quotation marks, after recreational there, you want to put a space and just write target equals underscore blank. And what that little piece of code does is allows us to click on this link and it will open it up now in a new blank tab or a new blank web page. Okay, so that's all we need to get that working. So I know it's a little bit confusing because it's jumped over to two lines. But basically we've got at the start of our list item or the first bullet point, we've got the word Queensland in bold text. Then we've got a hyperlink that goes off to that Department of Fisheries or whatever it is website. It's going to pop up in a new tab when we click on it. That's the text that we want hyperlinked on the page, and that's it. So if we save that and have a look, it's going to look something like this. And if we click on this link, it pops up in a new tab, and it takes us off to some recreational fishing page. Alrighty, so we need to do the same now for the New South Wales link. Alright, so it's pretty easy to do. Just before the letters DPI, let's put in pointy bracket and write ahref equals, put the quotation marks around that hyperlink, and we'll just close off the pointy brackets for a minute. Copy that website and put them between the two brackets there. Remember to go back to the start of the web page here in yellow or orange, whatever colour that is, and write HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. That makes sure that our website link actually works. And then after the word recreational, after those quotation marks, remember to put in target equals underscore blank to allow us to open that link in a new in a new tab. Alrighty, so I think that's all we need for that New South Wales hyperlink to work, so let's just go and test it. Looks like it's loading up a page. Yep, sure is, so we're all good. So that's the top part of our web page all done. We're up to the table section now. Okay, so back in brackets, that's our unordered list or our bullet points all finished, so we'll go in below them now and write in the tag table. Remember, this starts to create a table for us in our web page. Alright, so inside of our table, we need to add in a table row to start with. And the way we do that is we simply write TR. TR creates a table row or a row in your table, obviously. Remember though, you can't actually add data into the table until you add in a TD tag. Okay, I've got a lot of tags here just to get the first row of the table up and running. But TD tags stand for table data, and that says we're going to add some data into our table. Alright, so in the first row... What we're going to do is we're going to write in what can I catch. Okay, it's going to be the big heading for our table. If we just go back to the information document here, you can see what can I catch is the heading or the first row in our table. And you can see here that our table actually has one, two, three, four, five different columns. But we want this first row to merge across those five columns. So what we're going to have to do back in brackets, where it says TD before what can I catch, we're going to have to write in there TD space colspan equals 5. That means 
This first row in our table is going to span across five columns. All right. And that should do us for that first row. Coming in on the second row, so we'll add another TR tag. What we need to add in now is these little headers here, the little subheaders. So fish name, description, size, tips, and picture. So instead of writing TD tags now, I'm going to write TH tags because I want this text bold and I want it centered. All right, so you can copy and paste those THs if you want five times because we've got five different headers. Okay, and the first one just says fish name. The second one says description. The next one says size. Fourth one says tips. So just tips on how you can catch the fish. And the last one is picture. Okay, so that row has five pieces of data in it. Okay, five different headings, which means five different columns. If we save that and have a look, you can see here in our table, even though there's no border around it yet, we've got those five columns, fish, name, description, size, tips, and picture. And as we start adding information to this table, it's going to look a lot better and start to make a bit more sense of what this table actually looks like. All right, so after that table row, we're going to add in the next table row. Okay. And this is where we start to talk about the fish themselves. Okay, so the first fish we're talking about is the golden perch, or the yellow belly. Okay, so make sure you add a new table row and then some table data, which is TD. That's the fish name. Coming in next, we need to put some more TD tags. We're going to put a description in. After that, we've got size, then tips, and then a picture. So I'm going to copy those TD tags another four times. That adds the five columns into this row. So the golden perch, whoops, let's go back to this Word document. We need to copy the description. So we just highlight it, copy it, and paste it between those TD tags. Then we copy and paste its size in between the next TD tags. Coming down in the fourth lot of TD tags, we've got some tips. And in the last one, we've got a picture. Okay, the way we put a picture in is we have to put the IMG SRC tag in, so image source equals, and simply click on images and then golden perch. Don't forget to also write in the alternate text, so alt equals, and just say picture of a golden perch. And you can close off your pointy brackets. So in that column, We've put in a picture of the golden perch. If you hover over it, you'll see it. And we've got the alternate text in there for those people who can't actually load pictures on their computer screen or their phone. It shows them that text instead. So let's save that up and have a look at how it's going now in the web browser. So you can see our table now starting to come together. The fish name, the description, the size, the tips, and the picture. Okay, we need to do that for two more fish. We've got the Murray cod and the silver perch. All right, so let's go down, add another table row in. Just pop down too many lines there. All right, so in this table row, I'm going to do the same thing. Add in five of these TD tags because we want five columns. So one, two, three, four, five. It's all copied and pasted in. Okay, in the first bunch of TD tags, we need to write in the Murray code. Okay, and from here, just go back over to your table. I'm going to copy and paste the rest of the information in. So we'll copy that into the second one, into the third column. We put it size. I'm just pressing Control C to copy, Control V to paste. We'll copy this information here, some tips on catching it. And then the last TD tag, or the last column, we need to add in a picture. So image source. Uh, Bumped enter then, sorry. Equals. And then we click on images and we click the Murray code. We put in alternate text which says picture of Murray code. And outside the quotation marks, we close off the pointy bracket. Save that up, preview it, and you can see now we've got the next row in our table. Yes, it's looking ugly, but remember this is just the HTML. HTML documents don't look pretty until we style them up with CSS. Alright, so let's add in the final table row. Put in five of those TD tags, which is five columns in that row. 
So just copy and paste them in. And the final fish we're talking about today is the silver perch. Okay, let's go. Oops, let's go back to the Word document and copy and paste in the information about the silver perch. So the description goes in the second bunch of tags. The size here goes in the third lot of tags. Some tips go in the fourth lot of tags, and in the last set of TD tags, we put in the image source code. So we can put in a picture. Okay, don't forget your alt text, which is your alternate text. It's a picture of a silver perch. Close off your pointy brackets. And I think we are done with our table. Alright, so you can save it by pressing Ctrl S. Pop over for a preview. Yep, that's looking pretty good. Alright, so there's one last little bit we need to add in after our table. So we're going outside of the table section now, down below that. And we're just going to add in one final paragraph. So write in the letter P. And if you go back to your Word document, it says click here to read a great article on the McIntyre River in a fishing paradise. That is a fishing paradise. All right, and what we want to do is just have click here made into a hyperlink. And we want it to go to this link just here. So let's copy that hyperlink. And we'll have to put in the usual link tag A href equals put in the hyperlink just by pasting it in don't forget to write target equals underscore blank close those pointy brackets and you need to cut out this closing a tag so just highlight it control x to cut it and put it after the words click here that way the words click here become the hyperlink if i save it by pressing control s and previewing it you'll see what i mean down the bottom here the words click here have gone blue and you can click on that and that will take you to an article in the local newspaper that talks about the McIntyre River being a, fash a fishing paradise. So that's everything we need for the HTML section. Okay, you can just tidy your tags up a little bit if you want. That's looking pretty good. Alright, so I'm going to save that up and I'll stop the video here. I'll come back in the second part of the video and show you how to style this page up now using CSS because at the moment it is pretty ugly. So I'll see you in the second video.